The next thing I'm going to do is install this 970 Pro SSD. But before I do, I want to show you something interesting about the way that M2 sockets slots are designed. Let me remove the cover on this number one slot, and then I'll recover. I'll, I'll remove the cover on number two. By the way, you do need a special screwdriver. This is not a number two screwdriver. It's a. It's a essentially well. It's a number. It's a number zero screwdriver. It's a very fine tip screwdriver. Uh, I recommend actually just getting a jeweler's. Uh, screwdriver set if you can't find a number zero somewhere on its own. If you try to unscrew anything relating to an M2 drive with a standard number two uh, screwdriver, you'll strip the screws. So I've removed, this is the heat sink cover. There's a thermal tape on one side here, okay? That's not to be removed. Uh, if I had just removed, taken this out of the box, this actually would probably have a plastic kind of a, a a cover over it for shipping, that does get removed. But the tape itself is not like glue that you have to remove. This is actually part of the thermal uh, solution here. I'll put this down so it doesn't, that tape doesn't pick up any dust. And then I'm going to remove the other cover. Again, very small screws. And they actually are, they are actually often applied with a, a Loctite formula, like a blue Loctite to lock them in. So you do have to use quite a bit of force which is challenging with a small screwdriver. Don't let that think, don't let that convince you to try a really big screwdriver here. You will strip these screws out. So you're just going to have to use a small screwdriver and, and work at it to, to break that thread lock if there is some. I'm going to pull this off. Okay. Again, that has thermal tape applied. Now, these sockets are actually designed differently, and I'm going to show you a close-up here of what I mean. In the first socket, we have no additional screw. So actually, the, the screw that goes through this lid actually holds the M2 drive down. Here we actually have a screw. So that's a different design. Asus is using two different designs of slots on the same motherboard, which is a little bit confusing. You have to remove this screw if you're going to install an SSD here. I'm actually going to do it by hand because I've already loosened it. And be careful not to lose these screws. Often the motherboards don't come with extras. The other thing I want to show you, and I, I have to really zoom up close here, is a special legend on each socket. Let's see if I can show you what that says. It says PCIe X4. That means for a PCIe drive like the 970 Pro, it's rated at a full X4 speed. For SATA drives, it says X, which means it will not function. You cannot put a SATA drive in this slot. Okay? And then it does say that it conforms to Intel's RST standard. Now up here I have another slot. Let's look at the legend here. PCIe X4 standard. Full speed. For SATA drives, we have a V or a check mark. That means it does support SATA drives. And again, it's, it, it supports Intel's RST standard. So why is it that we have two sockets that support different M2 drives? Well, let me show you. Here I have two M.2 drives. For all intents and purposes, they look identical other than color and labeling. But actually, if you look very carefully, you'll see that there's an extra notch in this drive. This is actually a SATA drive. It's a Samsung 850 Evo. This is a PCI, PCIe drive. It has only one notch in its connector, SATA, PCIe. These are not interchangeable. Even though they both go into an M2 slot, some M2 slots will not support this standard. All M2 slots will support this standard. We've had a lot of viewers and readers get confused about this and say they buy a SATA drive like this 850 EVO from Samsung and they put it into a slot that's only rated for PCIe drives and then their system won't boot or recognize the drive. You do have to be careful about this. Take a look in your manual or, or look at the legend that's printed on your motherboard if there is one to make sure that you're installing a SATA M.2 drive into the right slot. Again, with PCIe drives like this 970 Pro we're using, any, PC, any M.2 slot will support it. All right, now that we have that clarification out of the way, we can go ahead and install our 970 Pro. As I mentioned, we can put it in either slot. 
They're both rated at X4 speed for PCIe drives, which is what you want to know. Now, they both also have these nice heat sinks. One's a little bit longer because that slot actually supports, this, uh, this slot will actually support a, a, a much longer standard of M.2 drives, the um, 110 millimeter standard, but essentially no drives use that standard. This is an 80 millimeter drive, and that's the standard that most modern drives use. All right, so let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It really doesn't matter where I put it. But for this purpose, just because it's a little closer to you, I'll put it in here. Now, it does slide into this connector, and then it sits kind of awkwardly askew. And you may wonder, what am I supposed to do? Can I push down on it? Well, it's spring-loaded, so I do indeed push down on this drive. And then I have to get my little screw, because this particular slot does have a separate screw here. This is a tiny little screw, very hard to handle. It's going to probably take me a few tries to get it. Let's see if my, my screwdriver is just barely magnetized, so it may be able to hold this little screw. Yes, it is. That is such a helpful oops, attribute for a screwdriver, especially with these tiny screws. But this always takes a few tries. We're talking about a, a small screw hole and a very small screw. And at the same time, I'm having to hold down the SSD with one of my hands. Okay, I think I got it. All right, and, and now I've got this secured. Now, a lot of motherboards actually just run, your, run the SSD just like that, and that's fine. For a really high-performance SSD like the 970 Pro, heat buildup is an issue. So then we do want to install this heat sink. It's more or less optional, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Now, as I push down on this, that thermal tape is actually going to adhere to my solid state drive. So I could feel that the solid state drive was making contact with that thermal tape. I'm going to put the screws in. These are a little bit bigger than the one that secures the, uh, the solid state drive to the slot. So these are a little bit easier. This doesn't have to be too tight. Remember, it's just pressing down that thermal tape onto the solid state drive. The solid state drive is already secured in the motherboard. All right. A little bit more. There we go. Okay, good. Secure.